In this tutorial we see how to create dynamic content and web application using servlets. Now we have created a directory of the application known as sample servlet and this uh, sample servlet contains a student form as well as web inf directory. Inside the web inf directory we have a classes folder, the lib folder as well as XML, web xml descriptor. Inside the classes we have a student servlet program a java program we are going to go into this detail of this program later now the entire content of this sample servlet cannot be executed without a web server now we are using apache tomcat as the web server which is installed in c drive so this directory the whole application folder needs to be placed inside your apache tomcat now i have installed apache controller tomcat on c drive program files apache software foundation tomcat then web apps now any application you try to write as part of the servlet needs to be placed inside web apps now i'm going to paste this application over here now once we have this application uh, you need to make sure that inside the classes your java servlet program is compiled now i have already compiled the program and i have we have is the class file already generated now let's go back and let's try to uh, execute this I'm trying to open the server using the command prompt now my server is installed inside the C drive program files Apache software foundation tomcat bin now I need to go to the bin to run it uh, or start the server using command prompt. Now I am um, typing a command uh, known as java space hyphen jar bootstrap dot jar. Now once my server is started let me execute this on our browser using the HTTP protocol and this is the web server's address that is 127.0.0.1 as well as 9090 as the port number. Now this application I am checking here that sample servlet application it's true that means it's running without any errors. Let me open this uh, in a new window. Now I see that 404 error has occurred that is uh, the servlet is not found. It's not actually the servlet but we need to specify the actual file name or HTML file name so that it executes in the browser. Now in this case, we have as the student form. Student form dot HTML. Now once we see, once we ex uh, execute this uh, URL, we see that student form gets displayed. Now the purpose of demonstrating this dynamic content uh, using servlet is a user will fill in this form and then click the submit button. The servlet program which is present in the web INF classes student servlet. This servlet program will try to retrieve the values what user has submitted and will try to display it back or give the response back to the user. Now let's go through the first part that is the student form now, we are not going to go into detail of the HTML uh, tags what we have written we have already seen the first example or the first uh, sample program now here we need to concentrate on the form tag if you remember the very first uh, program we had a form tag without any URL inside the action as well as we had a blank method now here we are trying to use get method there are two types you can uh, two ways you can uh, send the data through a get method or through post but by default uh, the default method is the get method that's why we are using a get method here and this action if you see this is the URL defining where the server servlet or which servlet needs to be executed or the data needs to be sent to which servlet in this case we have sample servlet that's our application name and then the student servlet is the 
actual class file now this student servlet before we try to go on to the java program let's go to web inf and then explore the web.xml or web descriptor now since this is an xml file you can open it in a notepad the very first thing we find or see is the root tag should be web hyphen app that uh, specifying web application now this description what you find here uh, as well as the display name is the same and the content within the description tag as well as display name will be available or can be seen in the Apache's application manager page page that is we have this application sampler servlet and sample student display uh, this is the display name which is defined in our web dot xml file now these two things are optional but the servlet tag is very important now in the servlet tag you have the servlet name as well as servlet class so this is the servlet name and this is the class file which is generated after compiling the student servlet dot java file apart from this we have the servlet mapping servlet mapping also has the same xml tag and you need to remember or follow that the first servlet name should be same as the serv uh, should be same inside the servlet name tag apart from this you have a new tag called as a url pattern and this url pattern needs to be preceded with a slash and the class name of the servlet now let's close this and then now let's come to the classes or the java servlet program now inside the servlet program you can see that uh, the student servlet extend http servlet that's a format uh, to write for the on uh, that extension as part of the servlet programs and we have two things do get and do post now do post you find nothing is written here because we are not uh, trying to post the data through post method or we are not trying to send the data to post method but we are trying to send the data through get method now when we are using get method obviously then code needs to be written inside do get method if the method is post then you need to write the implementation in the do post method in the do get method we have to think request and the response request is the data coming from the user that is from the, your HTML page and response object will try to send the result back to the web browser now very first thing we try need to define is content type that is we try to say that the response content type will be an HTML then we need to define an object of print writer so that through this object you will be able to send the response back to the user now we had several fields here and each field will have its own unique name now the values what user has typed in will be retrieved using request dot get parameter now inside this get parameter you need to provide the actual attribute name or actual name which is present inside the input tag so if you see this form student HTML form what we have very first thing is the uh, type text in input text box and then the name is roll number so this roll number becomes the key and whatever user types inside the text field becomes the value so therefore here when we use this request dot get parameter and the name of the parameter the return result will be the value what user has typed which needs to be saved inside some strings now we have defined string for various input tags the last thing we need to do is try to create an output and in the response of an HTML page so therefore the HTML tags are written inside out.println. Out is defined to be an object of response. 
So therefore, whatever we try to write inside out.println uh, as a string will be sent back to the user or sent back to the browser. So we have defined the HTML. Then we are trying to say that roll number should be str roll number. That is whatever is being retrieved through URL parameter is will be displayed here. Let's try to execute this program. Now let's let me type the roll number as nine 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 name as uh, mnb and password let me give it as uh, www and i'll be selecting uh, database as well as networks i'm not trying to select the option as oops and then uh, some address i'll enter road three road number three some banjara hills and then uh, state let me select uh, uh, let me try to select Karnataka as the state and then I'm going to submit this form. Once I submit, I'll be getting the values back as the response from the servlet program. So this servlet program has actually taken the request through the request parameter, processes those requests and then through the response parameter sending back to the user. Now if you see here, we have uh, DMMM was first selected, but we did not select the second value. We selected CN. Now, since second value of checkbox was not selected, it is will not be retrieved and it will be displayed as null value. Apart from that, the text area, whatever has been typed on multi line, has been retrieved on a single line, and then state has been selected from the options. So, this is how we try to demonstrate uh, the dynamic content in web application using servlets.